Okay guys, Siobhan here back with a new video. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to install and get Gboard up and running. So, first thing you need to do, jump into the Apple Store, search for Gboard. Yep, it's made by Google, that's why it's called Gboard. So, once you search for Gboard, you need to install it, wait till it's finished, and then will open it so once the gboard is open you have a different settings here that you need to configure so we we'll first need to set up gboard when it's finished installing it will look like this i have two keyboards swift key and gboard if you want to see um how to use swift key just like and comment down below and i'll show you that video okay so let's go into gboard yeah, so we need to configure these settings now. So we just set up, we're going to um, set up the Gboard. So here are the steps that you need to follow in order to get Gboard up and running on your iDevice. So um, let me put it back from the start. So just in case you need to know. So once you're here, you scroll down to general, go down to keyboards. You need to add a new keyboard. See you have Swift key and Gboard, but we're adding Gboard now. So once Gboard is added, you need to allow full access. If it's off, you won't get the full um, use of Gboard. So you need to allow full access so that you get all the functionality of Gboard. Okay, so let's jump back into the application. Once that's done, it will pop up like this. Let's go into keyboard settings. First thing you have glide typing, you have emoji suggestions. So glide typing is really cool because you can just swipe across and you swipe across the keyboard and everything will come up. You can block offensive words. We would like to keep that on just in case somebody pisses us off. <laughs> yeah, so um yeah, that's basically it. For keyboard settings. Well, a few things like emoji suggestions, I'll show you that in a few shortcut all those good stuff so yeah i'll run through that in a few you have the search settings not really enough on that it'll be really good if it gets an update it's kind of buggy but it's <laughs> it flows good but it's kind of buggy so it would be good if we can get an update on gboard so let me show you how this works so for example typing this is how the keyboard looks. Let me type in something. Whoa. So I sent yo bro. I'm now doing the glide typing. This is really useful if you're uh, typing with one hand. All you have to do is just drag across. If you want to get the word with two letters like really, you just swipe from R E A L and to Y and it automatically pick up. You can also send GIFs, just touch it, paste it, and send. It's very, very simple. You have millions of GIFs, thousands of GIFs you can choose from. All you have to do is just search the category you want. You have clapping, high five, angry, sad, happy, surprise. Millions of GIFs you can choose from just to spice up your conversations with your friend. And you can also s touch the G and search so let me show you how to um search for images so you click the emoji tab go and search so I type in lol and you will see the smiley face pop up so it's very useful you don't have to be scrolling through the emoji tab just to find the um I, the, the emoji you want so all you have to do is type in the emoji and it will come up So you see what I just did a while ago, I typed in bread, you have the option to choose if you want the emoji or not. I think that's really cool. And also you can search for your nearest restaurants, your nearest movie theater, all that good stuff. So as you can see, I typed in restaurant and I found the nearest restaurant that's close to me. Send that to my friend, tell him that, yo bro, we're going to Star Grill tonight, we're going to get some girls. <laughs> So, 
it's really really cool to spice up your um conversations gboard really really cool for that um swipe typing well it's called glide typing but some people knows it, knows it as swipe typing it's really really useful as you can see i'm just doing it with one hand so that's it today guys for um gboard and i'll see you later remember to subscribe and like leave some love down below